Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to farm level 40 Saito Kaiba and get 6k to 7k do assessment pretty consistently. The deck that I'll be using um, in this video is um, Angel 7 deck. This deck will get you 6k do assessment pretty consistently. Um, before making this video, I have run uh, 6 matches. And I have managed to win 6 out of 10 matches. 3 out of 4 losses came from drawing a bad opening hand. And I drew into um, Furman. So good game right there. Other than that, it's pretty consistent. If there's any consolation, um, after I've done 10 matches, I won 5 in a row. So that's that. Um, so yeah. Let me, let me do a quick run on the deck. I'm running the Hunter with 7 weapons. This is a really good card to have because the like, majority of his monster is um, Beast Warrior, right? And you want to use this to get over it. I'm also using Full Star Ladybug. This is a really good card to have in this deck. Um, like pretty much all his monsters is level 4, right? The only monster that is not level 4 is um, Twin Hatter Behemoth, which is level 3. This is a good card to have. Ideally, you want to have 3 in this deck, but is good. Twin Headed Behemoth, this has a special effect that lets him come back to the field once he get destroyed in the battle. On the field? On, yeah. Um, it's similar effect as uh, Twin Headed Behemoth, this is a good card to have as well. It also come back to the field. This is the card you want to summon. Um, once you have summoned this card, he, he, all his um, attack monster no longer work, especially the DD Warrior. That one is the one that's gonna trouble you the most. I'm running three Bubonic Vermin. This is really good. It also thing out your deck as well as use a tribute summon to summon your Angel Seven. I'm running a Piranha Army. I'm using the Piranha Army method to deal the damage to my open labyrinth on the last turn. You wanna have at least one soul exchange. To triple summon your Angel 7. You also want to have double summon as well, just in case. This is um, the card you'll be using to get that five over 5k damage. If you want to get 7k do assessment, um, you can add second um, Gift of the Martyr and take out one of the 4 sub Ladybug with him. But this method is pretty risky and it's not consistent. Um, you want to run 3 Royal Key Field because. Uh, Kaiba have two enemy controller and you want to use this to negate this enemy controller. So yeah, like the funny thing is that do we have um, five enemy controller that I have gotten so far from Sandu Kaiba? It's all from losses. I'll show you. So yeah, I have five enemy controller. One of the enemy controller I got from the KC Cup rewards. And three out of four enemy control I got it from um, as losses. It's pretty funny. I, I post a screenshot if you don't believe me. Like it's pretty funny. Like one of the screenshot I didn't take, but like definitely funny though. Like I'm I wanna get um what's it called Chapin Vigilance. I only have one so far. I'm trying to get at least three. So yeah, instead of, oh yeah, you should definitely use um, Bandit Key from Restart Skill because that, in case if you begin to, to do it with a bad opening hand and you wanna use Restart, because like most of my wins, like I start off with like three Vermin or two Vermin in my opening hand, so that's pretty bad. Other than that, yeah, let's get straight to the dueling. Hopefully we can get a successful kill. So these are the level 40 rewards. Yeah. Surprisingly I still haven't gotten any battle ox.
went first. Okay, as you can see, we start out with two vermin, that's pretty bad. So you want to use the skill, you start. Hopefully we can get a good open hand. Okay, this is pretty good. Okay, this is definitely good. You wanna um set this card. Hopefully he draw a beast warrior type monster so we can summon the hunter with seven tools. Okay, this is good. Just gonna come back. You know, good defense mode. Hopefully we draw a soul chin or a double summon. Hmm, this this will work. Shy. Gonna summon seven. Hunter with seven tool. Set it to um beast warrior, because majority of his monsters are beast warrior, right? Plus you don't have to worry about DD Warrior because like the turn he's summoning he doesn't usually attack the monster. Yeah, another beast warrior. I'm gonna do anything. Okay, this is pretty good. We're gonna summon the vermin. So we could get our Angel 7 out next turn. Attack is battle ox. Post the level 40 Saito Kaiba deck list on the side so you can refer to it. Good. Luckily we have Vermin. This is one of the cards that is not Beast Warrior. This is a Beast type. Here um, he probably has um, enemy controller face down so in this case you wanna that uh post all ladybug dude and wait till you draw Ryoko Fuel hopefully he draw level 4 monster okay this is good he usually attack the left monster first I don't know why he's gonna attack the vermin Hopefully we can draw into um Ryoko Field. Okay, we're gonna flip summon to destroy it. Okay, how many demons do we have? You wanna have okay, we're gonna summon our Angel 7. Hopefully he doesn't have high level attack monster okay this is good the face down is probably um not high attack because like our angel 7 have pretty high defense right okay we're gonna summon a monk i'm gonna set this attack yeah Like our option is to attack, right? He's gonna summon. Okay, good thing he didn't summon his blue eyes. Okay, we got lucky here. Here you wanna um summon the hunter with seven weapons. And attack serious monsters. It's DB War. Hopefully it's it's not DD Warrior. Hopefully he doesn't summon Blue Eye. Okay. Lost his dragon. Still good. Okay, he so far he has already used up one enemy controller, right? So we have Royal Gofio, so we don't need to set another Royal Gofio. At this point it's pretty straightforward to keep destroying his monster so he doesn't summon blue eye white dragon
to keep destroying his monster. Once you have like de destroyed enough monster, he won't be able to summon any more monster. Here you can um, try to summon a second if you wanted to. Do so exchange. Okay. Should be summon. Here, you have two and your seven on board. You don't have to summon your second, it's not necessary. It's just showing you like how it's done. You want to set to manage your hand, but not really. On the last turn, you wanna summon your Piranha Army. And then make sure you use Secret Pass the Treasure first before doing anything else. Use it on Piranha Army. Use your Gift of the Martyr on your Angel 7. Use on your Piranha Army. Here, I'm gonna attack with it um, to clear the monster and go for a direct attack to deal over 5k of damage. You should get um, 6k due assessment easily. That's not good. So, we got. Come back to the cards in the blank. Ooh, let's see what card we get. Oh, sweet! You got Champion Vigilance, so this is the card needed. So yeah, with this method, you could get um 6k do assessment pretty consistently. Yeah, I'll show you um other video where um. Where I have done um farming. Where's it? Okay, do we play? In this scenario where um in this video I'll show you in this match I'll show you uh worst case scenario. Like if thing doesn't go according to your plan and what you should do. Here, I'll open up with a pretty good open hand. You must set Ryoko Field and I set the post out Ladybug so you can clear his board. You must set your second Ryoko Field and set your third man. For some reason, he didn't attack a um, face out monster. Now you're gonna tribute summon for your Angel 7. You don't have to worry about enemy controller because we have two Ryoku on there. It's no longer a threat to you to use Ryoku Field to negate it. From here on, it's pretty straightforward. To keep destroying his monster so he doesn't summon Blue Eye White Dragon. Plus you want to get that 10 monster destroyed do his assessment, right? You want to save your soul exchange in case you have to use it for emergency.
He has to keep destroying his monster. Here I'll show you um, what happens if you don't attack into his monster. This is the worst case scenario. He's gonna use cost down to summon the red white dragon. I love this animation. So sick. Blue eyes white dragon. So yeah, what would you do if you summon your white dragon and destroy your Angel 7? So what you want to do is start out until you get your second Angel 7. To keep stalling. Okay, we finally drew our second Angel 7. Now you want to summon a monster and use double of summon. Then use Soul Shin on the blue eye. Soul Shin would get rid of blue eye white dragon. As well as tribute summon our Angel 7. So this is what you do in that case. In that scenario. From here on, it's pretty straightforward. And last time, you want to summon Piranha Army. Use Secret Path to the Treasure on your Piranha Army. And then use Gift of the Martyr on your Age of 7. And use on your Piranha Army. And go for Direct Attack to deal over 5k damage. If you do everything correctly, you should get 6k do assessment per system. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll try to bring more content like this in the future. If you guys have any suggestions on what content you want to see, feel free to leave them in the description below and I'll try to look at it. Other than that, um, yeah, with this deck you could get 6k to 7k do assessment pretty consistent. The 7k do assessment um, is, is pretty nice consistent. So just going for the 6k one is better so yeah good luck with the drop and farming other than that um i'll see you guys in my next video see ya